Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about how I've been getting along with this guy, the new Dyson Airwrap, now that I've had it for the past month or so. And I'm going to share with you five pros and five cons which I think are important for you to know if you are considering buying an Airwrap. These are the things that I wish were summarized in a quick video for me before I bought the Airwrap because I've watched a fair few videos about you know how to style using the Airwrap, what each of the attachments do. But I think when it comes to making a purchasing decision, particularly with something that is so pricey like this, it's important to sort of get the big picture. When I popped into David Jones over a month ago, I had this Dyson assistant who gave me this amazing demo and she just did it on my dry hair, obviously, because I was just on a lunch break at work. And I was blown away. I posted it over on my Instagram stories just about how much I had fallen in love with it. But it was the price. The price just, you know, it's $899, which is not a small amount of money. And even now when I say it, it's just insane. But I think that if you're watching this video, then you're under no illusion that a Dyson hair tool is really expensive. You're paying for the engineering and the science and the research behind it. And so let me talk you through the five pros and the five cons now that I've been able to use this thing for over a month. Now, pro number one is the new model is easier to use than the old model. And I say this because I was seriously considering buying the older model in order to save myself $100, but I'm really glad that I went with the new model. And the key differences between the old model and the new model is that with the new model, you can actually change the direction of the airflow with the barrels. And so you no longer need to switch out the barrels depending on the direction in which you wanna style your hair. And just by twisting this top knob, you don't have to change your barrels. You can just keep the one barrel depending on how you wanna style your hair. The new barrels you can also buy separately if you still have the old air wrap and so they've made them compatible with the older model which is great. I really like how they do that. And another key difference is the drying attachment. So the drying attachment looks very different between the two models. With the new model the drying attachment also has a smoothing attachment with it as well. It's a two-in-one and so you can sort of flick it over depending on if you want to dry your hair that's where the airflow comes out and if you want to smooth your hair out as you would have seen in the attachment that's available with the hair dryer then you can simply use that and it smooths your hair and I use this one quite a bit and in fact the two improvements to the new model relate to these two attachments and these happen to be the two attachments that I use the most and so if you are a smoothing person and a curling person then I think that you would prefer the newer model of the air wrap. Now, pro number two is that there are so many different ways that you can style your hair just with the one tool. Now, I've got the complete long version of the Dyson Air App. I don't think I mentioned that at the beginning of this video, which means that the barrels are a little bit longer to suit my long hair. It comes with the 30 millimeter barrel, which I've got attached to the Air App at the moment. It's got the 40 millimeter Air Wrap barrel. There is a round volumizing brush. There is a soft smoothing brush. There's the dryer slash coanda smoothing attachment, which I mentioned earlier. And it also comes with a filter cleaning brush that you can use to clean out the dust and the particles in this bottom section here, because apparently there can be quite a bit of buildup after a bit of use. So, you know, a heap of different attachments to suit a heap of different looks. Now there's a particular way in which Dyson recommend that you style your hair with the air app. They recommend that you style it on freshly washed hair and it being about 90% dry. And I was a bit apprehensive about this at first because that doesn't necessarily fit in with my daily routine. I'm not a daytime showerer, I'm a nighttime showerer. Mornings are always just chaotic getting out the door and getting the kids ready for school. And during this month, as I've been getting to know this guy and experimenting with it, I have switched up my showering routine on the weekends when I've had a little bit more time and styled my hair when it's been freshly washed just to see if I prefer it and whether I like the result. And to be honest, I don't really like it as much. I just prefer keeping my usual routine. That is just sleeping on it when it is slightly wet, uh, waking up, having my hair semi frizzy and needing a little bit of of TLC, which I will do in the morning with the Dyson, and it is just so quick to do. And so even though there are so many ways in which you're instructed to use it, and all the YouTube tutorials tell you that you need to use it in a particular way, I think that it can just integrate into your usual hair routine. You don't have to do it in the way that everyone is telling you to do it. Pro number three is that the air app is pretty easy to use. There was a bit of an adjustment period for me because when you're styling your hair with a traditional hair straightener, for example, and curling it, then you would typically hold your hair at the tip and then you would apply the hair tool on your root and 
do whatever snazzy thing you want to do. But with the air wrap, you have to hold the bits of hair in the middle so that you can apply the tool at the end and then the barrel will then catch onto your hair. And I really like it because once it catches on, it does all of the work for you. You don't actually have to do any maneuvering to create the curl. Similarly with a curling tong, you don't have to manually wrap the hair around the barrel. Here this thing just sort of catches and it just makes it so much easier. And it takes a lot of the fussiness and the guesswork out of creating a curl. Now I've curled my hair with the air wrap, like full on curled my hair, probably about five or six times now. It's not too much of a steep learning curve. And if you do just want a light wave, it's pretty intuitive. It's a matter of lightly styling the hair and not holding the heat for as long. And you can achieve whatever look it is that you want to achieve. It's, it's just easy to use. Now, pro number four is that it actually does what it says it's going to do and it does it really well, which should come as no surprise, particularly if you use a Dyson vacuum cleaner, they are fantastic. Similarly, I've been blown away by the Dyson Air Up and just how good it actually is. Case in point is this Coanda smoothing attachment. This thing is so good to smooth all of my frizzy, fluffy bits every day and it's just so quick and easy to use. And similarly with this 30 millimeter barrel attachment, which I use most mornings just to enhance my curls, it really is just so easy to use and it actually does what it says it's going to do. And the final pro, just to round out the pro section of this video, is that it really is less damaging on the hair. And it is something that I've noticed while I've styled my hair. So typically when I use those traditional heat styling tools, like my curling tong or my hair straightener, I can actually smell my hair getting singed, which is a horrible smell, even though I apply like heat protecting products. Whereas the Airwrap, I don't get that smell. But something to clarify is that the Dyson Airwrap is still using heat, but it's using a combination of heat and air flow in order to style your hair and so it's not healthy for your hair by any means which I've heard a lot of people say it is just less damaging less damaging doesn't mean that it's healthy less damaging just means that it is less damaging and so just keep that in mind it's not something that will make your hair better it just means that with continued use it won't damage your hair as quickly as it would if you were to use a traditional heat styling tool Let's flip the switch and go through the five cons. The very first one is probably Captain Obvious, and that is the air wrap is really pricey. It's really expensive. It's 899 Australian dollars. I don't know how much it is in other currencies, but I will pop that on the screen. It's not a purchase that you would make lightly, and it was certainly one, you know, from my perspective, that I really considered quite carefully. And what you are paying for is ultimately a luxury hair tool. There are many hair tools on the market that will do what you want it to do. If they work for you, then you probably don't need the Dyson Air App. What you're paying for is the beautiful design, the engineering, and the science and the research behind it, because it is ultimately less damaging. Now, con number two is that it's a pretty big tool. The air wrap, all of the attachments that it comes with and the case, they take up quite a bit of space. So this is how the case is. And I'll just put it next to my head just so that you can see for scale. It's quite big. It's not really that portable. And so when it comes to travel, you can't really take this entire case with you. I haven't traveled with it yet, but I am planning to because I've got my brother-in-law's wedding at the end of the year. And I think what I will end up doing is I will probably just take the barrel attachment that I use quite a bit and the smoothing attachment, which is here. And I'll just somehow pack that into my suitcase. Um, maybe I will detach it. There we go. And then I can maybe put it in a smaller case. See, that, that's a little bit more bearable, but the case itself is huge. I mean, that would take up three quarters of my carry-on case, which is, which is not great. Now the third con is that if you're not using it just to enhance your natural hair and you're properly styling your hair, then it does take a bit of time because the air up itself, particularly if you have thick hair like me, it can't actually style too much hair in the one hit. I would only really use probably about, you know, that much of my hair, which isn't much in comparison to my entire head. And so if I were to properly curl my hair, then it does take a while. I think I started off being about 45 minutes, but now I can get it down to about half an hour. I still think that's quite a while to spend on hair, considering that's not the time that I typically have for myself when I'm doing my hair. But I think when it comes to events and things like that, then I think half an hour is completely reasonable. 
Now the fourth con of the Air App is that while it comes with all of the amazing different attachments, you're probably not going to use all of them. I think that if you're like me, you'll probably latch on to about two or three of the attachments and then the rest you'll just cast by the wayside. For me in particular, I will use the 30 millimeter air barrel that has been put to very good use, the Coanda drying attachment, and if I'm styling my hair for like a proper event, then I will go ahead and smooth my hair first with the firm smoothing brush. But the ones that I don't really use are the round volumizing brush. I think that this would really work if you had a fringe and you wanted to sort of make sure that your bangs were nice and in place. Also the soft smoothing brush, my hair is a little bit too thick for this to be effective. And the 40 millimeter barrel. Though I do see myself using this in the future at some stage, I just haven't really used it much since I got it. So if you do manage to work your way through all of the attachments and use them all the time then I think that it represents very good value for money but I think that if you're like me and like most people then you're just gonna latch on to a couple of them and that's probably it now the final con to round out the con section of my video is that the Dyson Air App as a hairstyling tool can be really, really loud. Now when you're styling your hair with a traditional styling tool, for example, it's largely silent, you know, save for a couple of beeps here and there that tell you when the tool has reached an optimum temperature. And so, you know, you can listen to music, you can listen to a podcast, you can watch a YouTube video on your iPad, and you can talk to others in the room while you're going about styling your hair. Whereas with the Dyson Air App, because it uses air Airflow. It can be really quite noisy. Meaning that listening to music or listening to a podcast or watching something really isn't something that you can do at the same time. And so that has taken away from the experience and it's something that is worthwhile mentioning. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you found this pro con list to be helpful, particularly if you are mulling over whether or not you should invest in an air app yourself. I certainly am much happier that the air app is in my life and I think my hair game is much better for it too. I think the way in which I've approached the purchase is that I'm investing in a luxury hair tool. And so it's a Dyson product and we all know that Dyson just sit above the rest but I do recognize that there are other hair tools on the market that you can get for a fraction of the price where you can achieve the same sort of look but for me there is a satisfaction of using a Dyson product every day knowing that it is less damaging on my hair and now that I'm used to it the ease of use and just the fact that it's just fuss free. In due course I will upload a video sharing with you how I like to style my hair using the Dyson Air App for every day and so if you haven't already then you should subscribe to my channel just so you don't miss that when it goes live. In the meantime if you are new here then hair isn't typically my thing. Hair isn't what you normally see on this channel. I normally make videos about personal style, handbags and workwear and so if you like any of that stuff then you should check out my other videos on my channel and yeah I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!